Entertainment Software Association gave a green light to Electronic Entertainment Expo 2021. Who's showing up? How much does it cost? Stick around to find out. Hello everyone, Crazy Games here. Welcome to my channel. I do unboxing, reviews, tutorials, and gaming news. Hit the like button if you want to help boost this video. It helps a lot in algorithm. Alright, let's get to the news. E3 has been running in some form since 1995. Hosted by ESA, E3 is a three-day convention to celebrate and showcase all things gaming to publicize upcoming games and console with discussion panels and keynotes alongside the excitement of the show floor. E3 2021 will be the 26th time the event is held. Rather than being held as an in-person event in Los Angeles, it's home since 2009. E3 2021 is an entirely digital event. Following the cancellation of E3 2020 due to COVID-19 pandemic, it was really unclear whether E3 was going to happen this year in some form or the other. The digital event was a go-ahead last year, but due to the lack of support, the ESA decided to scrap the event altogether. E3 2021 got the green light, but this time around it will be totally different than previous years. The gaming conference will be online only, running from June 12 to June 15, and promises developer will be showcasing the latest news and games directly to fans around the world. This year E3 will have three hosts. Greg Miller, the co-founder of entertainment outlet Kinda Funny Podcast. Jackie Jean, an Emmy-nominated TV journalist who worked as a host and a producer in IGN, Nerdist, and other. And finally, Alex Mendez, a professional commentator uh, for both eSport and NBC Titan Games. They will be sharing the job of guiding this year's shows, providing commentary, interviewing publishers and developers. This year already looks to be different, with a handful of publishers have already confirmed they'll be attending, including Xbox, Nintendo, Ubisoft, Take-Two, Warner Brother, Coach Media, Capcom, and Square Enix. Now Konami was in the list, but has since pulled out stating they were working on key projects and will update fans in the upcoming months. But there are also some noticeable absent from EESA earlier commitment lists, such as Sony, alongside with EA, Activision Blizzard, Sega, and Bandai Namco. Of all the absences, I'm going to focus on Sony. This isn't the first time Sony ditched E3. The company opted out last year's event before its cancellation was announced in favor of its own state of play and PS5 events, which closely mimicked Nintendo Direct presentation style. So what does Sony likely E3 absent mean for PS5? Well, we'll still see new PS5 games from other publishers at the show, such as Ubisoft and Capcom. But it also means first party exclusive that I, myself, and many PlayStation fans are craving information about won't be present. It's likely Sony will host its own E3 style event where they can control the messaging, formats, and news games without the type of investment need to be a present E3. However, they may choose not to share anything at this time like, like last year, which give Xbox and Nintendo a whole week of unrivaled attention and announcement. It's just a shame that Sony won't be present E3, because it was always been a celebration of major announcement and exclusive reveal. With upcoming games like God of War Ragnarok, Gran Turismo 7, and Horizon Forbidden West, fans including myself will be left to speculate when Sony will be revealing more information about it. And with all that, it's still an impressive show of support for E3 this year, with many speculating that the online event would be ignored by the biggest company in the industry. Having Xbox and Nintendo is a big boon to ESA, whose event was seen by many as the Christmas of gaming announcement has diminished in recent years. And as I mentioned before, E3 2021 will take in the form of an all-digital event. Digital attendees will also be able to keep track of everything that's going on through the E3 apps. And despite rumors and speculation that parts of the event would be behind the paywall, ESA has already confirmed that E3 2021 will be entirely free for attendees. So are you excited and looking forward to this year E3? Leave the comments down below. 
as to what game you would love to see or reveal. I personally want to hear more about the Metal Gear Solid remake. But Konami already pulled himself out. Hopefully, we'll get that sometime during the summer. Anyways, guys, until next time, take care of yourself and each other. As always, gaming is life. We just chive on.